Hey everyone, it's Steve Harris at Muse Themes. For a long time now, people have been asking about tables in Muse. There's just never been a great solution for doing them, and we decided to see if we could take a crack at building a widget that could accomplish this. It actually ended up being quite the challenge, but uh, I think we built something that'll work really well for the majority of users, and it's actually really flexible. You can build huge tables with it. It requires very little code. You don't actually have to write any code, just go online and generate it. And also a really unique feature of this is this table that you see here, which we built in Muse, you can actually click on the header columns and it will sort by them. So it's kind of a powerful new widget and I'm really excited to release it. So let me show you how it works. First of all, I'll delete this out and let's start fresh. So if you scroll down to your toolbox file, the current version for this one is 7.4.1. And number 21 is the table maker widget. So if we click that and we drag it out onto the page, you can see that when it appears, there's kind of two elements to this. You've got this little code snippet up here that says Muse Themes Table Maker Widget, and it has a flyout panel. And in that flyout panel, you have all of the options for styling the widget. So things like changing the background colors of rows, setting the font sizes, and even alignment of text is all contained in this little controller. Now this other block here is where you're going to actually input your code for your table. And to edit this, you need to right click on it and click edit HTML. So when you do that, it brings up the edit HTML box and within it, we've kind of pre-populated with some elements. So you can see there's some code up here. You don't need to pay any attention to that, but there's these blocks that say paste header rows below, starting with the first tag. Do not edit, edit above this line. Then you've got this big block where we've pasted in our header rows, and then it says end header rows and paste body rows below. And then we've got this big block where you can paste in the actual body of the table. And then below that is just the end of the body rows. So we can actually generate all of this code online by using a simple generator. The reason we did it this way is because the Muse flyout panel or the option panel on a widget has a character limit in it. So we wanted to build this right into a panel, but this is a way for us to bypass that limit and it makes it easier for you to build really big tables. So let me show you how to make this work. First of all, if you go back to the controller widget and you bring out the flyout panel and then you click the terms of use button in the bottom right, this box comes up and it says, you know, some instructions and links to the instruction page, but then it says, use this tool to generate your HTML table code. And there's a link to a table generator. So if you click that link, it brings you to a place on the web and it's an HTML table generator. So you can use this to kind of build out the structure of your table in a visual way. And this is really what Muse is lacking at the moment. So there's a couple things that I find a little bit more helpful when you're setting this up. First of all, you need to click this do not generate CSS button here. And what that does is just make sure it gives you raw unstyled data. And that's because our widget is going to do the styling. So we don't need this to do it. Second of all, sometimes it comes in pre-populated with a little bit of information in there. I like to just go, let's see here, it is in table. And if you go table and clear table, it just makes sure it's completely empty. So now what you can do is you can see you have this kind of one cell table here. Now you can start adding rows and this almost works like Excel. So if you were to click on a row, you can click add row above, we can add a column to the right and you can create as many as you need. And so once you've kind of built out the actual structure of your table, then you just click in each cell and you type. So let's say we've got kind of a header row here that we're going to use things like name. And I think we can scale this out a little bit so it's a little bit easier to see. Okay, so we go name, let's go email phone and website. Okay, so then below that we could put in our data. So let's just put Steve Harris. Um, we'll just put in a random number here. Okay, and then, and don't worry too much about the way things are wrapping and all of that because our widget's going to take care of all that styling. You're just using this to get your data in. And we'll just put in useteams.com. Okay, I'll fill in the bottom one so we have something in there. And then for this one, I'll just go google.com. Okay, so we basically created a simple four column, three row table. And once we've created the table, we need to click this generate button. And you can see that below, it creates all of the HTML code for the table itself. And let me scroll down so you can see that a little bit better. 
So this is how our widget works, is you can just copy and paste this code right into Muse. So let's go back to the widget and I'll show you what you need first. Since we've created a header row, and let's go edit HTML on this again. So since we've created a header row, basically a row of kind of column headings at the top, we need to include it in this chunk here. So I'm gonna delete out what's in there right now. And if we go back to the table generator, let's just select the header row. So it's basically from this first TR, and then it says TH, and there's a closing TH, that's for table header, and down to the last slash TR. So those are just the header chunks. So let's copy those. Let's go back to Muse and let's paste them in. Okay, now we need the body rows below in this section. So again, I'll delete out what we have. Okay, go back to the table generator and now we can basically just select everything below in the body area of our table. And let's copy that. And you may notice I didn't select this closing table tag here. It says in our widget that to make sure your last tag in the code above is the last TR tag. So you do not need that closing table tag. And let's paste that in there. Okay, so now we hit OK. Our widget regenerates, and this preview in Muse is not accurate. You need to preview this in the browser. And let's go File, Preview Page in Browser. Okay, so now that we've previewed it in the browser, you can see that we have kind of the basis of our table, and it's actually sortable, so you can click on a column heading. And you notice we're missing an entry here for website on this last one. I can fill that in by just, again, modifying this code here. And let's see. So if you scroll down, you've got Steve Harris. This is basically the first row. And in this last one, it's clearly missing the entry for the uh, website address. So let me get rid of that. And I'll just put in google.com, just like that. And click OK. And we'll preview it again. There, so it's in. So this is actually a really easy and slick way for you to build out your table. Now we can style this table by using the controller widget here. So if we bring that up, let's look at some of the options. We've got header background color. So right now it's black. We've got black text or white text on a black background. And then we've got a white background for the table with black text. Let's change that. So let's change the header background color and let's change that to, let's say a blue. Okay, now header row height, that's basically just the size of that header row. So let's set it to 15. We'll leave the header font size set at 10. Header font color, I'm gonna leave that set as white. Okay, now header border color. So this just puts a nice thick border around the header cells. Right now it's set to white. And if you look at it in the browser, you can see that it has these white breaks between the cells. That is the border actually causing that. So if we were to change that to Let's change that to um, black, for example, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, okay. And the border way to set it to, let's preview that and see how it looks right now. There, so you see that we have the blue and the header cells. Now we have the black border applied. So let's style up the body rows and they use the exact same format. So you've got the body row color, right now it's set to white. Let's set that to black. Okay, now we've got body row height. We'll up that a little bit to eight. The font size is fine at 10. Okay, body font color. Since we changed the background to black, we'll change the color to white. Okay, and then body border color. That's set at black, but there's actually no weight on it. Let's up the weight to two to match the header way. And then text alignment, left to right. That's good, I'm gonna leave it at left. Okay, let's preview that and see how it looks. There you go. So that's actually looking really nice, I think. And one last thing, let's say you didn't like the font that's being used. You can change that by just using the text controls here in Muse. So select this block and let's pick something like, we'll just pick this cabin regular for now. And we'll preview it again in the browser. And you can see that it's modified throughout the table. So that's it, that's how you style out your table. Now you're probably thinking that's a pretty small table. It's got four columns and three rows, not a big deal. But something that's actually really slick with this uh, generator online is that you could have a massive Excel spreadsheet and you could bring it in. So let me show you how this works. So I'm just gonna create a really simple spreadsheet. I'll make it say about you know 15 columns wide or something like that. Actually, let's use numbers so it goes changes sequentially for each column, okay. Okay. And then let's do the same thing below. We'll just drag this down. So we've basically now got this, you know, we've got 22 rows in this column and probably about, you know, 12 
columns across. So let's select this whole block and we'll go back to that table generator that we were using online. And now if you go up to File and Paste Table Data, it gives you this box. And if we just paste our rows in from our Excel file, click Load, you can see that it builds out the table automatically. And if you hit Generate, it generates all of the information below. Again, we need to make sure do not generate CSS as clicks, so we've got the nice raw data. And there, now we can use this again to start building our table. So since we didn't really use a header row on this table, I won't bother with the uh, actual heading columns. Let's just use the body row columns. So let's select all of those there and copy them. Let's go back to Muse and I'm going to again right click on this, edit the HTML. I'm going to delete out the header rows since we don't need them and I'm just going to paste in the body rows there. Boom. And click OK. It's going to load them up and let's preview it. There you go. So it looks really good. And of course you could uh, style this text as you needed. So for this one you may not want that black background. So let's just change that for example purposes to white. Let's go back to, let's go to a blue color text. Okay, and then, you know what, let's put a border on, a black border on that area right now. And we'll change the alignment to middle. Okay, let's preview this and see how it looks now. There. So as you can see, this is a really powerful widget and using that generator tool online means that you could bring a spreadsheet in with potentially as many columns as you could possibly think of or as many rows and it doesn't matter. Muse is going to handle it really well. And again, remember that these tables are totally sortable by you just clicking on a header column. So that's it. That's our new table maker widget. As you can probably tell, I am really excited to release it because I think it's a bit of a game changer in, in terms of tables and Muse. But as usual, if you have any issues with this, don't hesitate to give us a or send us an email at support at musethemes.com. The only thing we'd ask is that if you please include a link to your site so that we can see what's happening in the code if you're having any issues. Chances are you've probably just perhaps replaced or missed one of these little tags in here and we can identify that really easily if you provide us with a link. So that's it. Enjoy and again don't hesitate to ask for help. Cheers!